Hello, young scientist. Hello, Professor RSK. How are you all doing today? We are blessed and highly favored. How are you doing, sir? I am fine, thank you. Professor RSK, please we have completed the previous assignments and submitted for marking. Thank you. This is a job well done. Young scientist, we are gathered here today to study another aspect of science. Today we'll discuss the substrand material. I will please ask you all to pay attention and put down notes which will help you in your exams. In our day-to-day -day life, we use so many objects that are made of different material. Some objects are made of more than one material like soaps. Some objects can be made from different materials like plastic, while different objects can be made from the same material as table and chair made of wood. Importance of grouping. Objects are differentiated on the basis of its nature like shapes, properties, and material. Grouping objects on the basis of its properties makes studies convenient. It can be grouped on the basis of similarities or differences. Common properties that are used to group the objects are as follows. 1. Luster. Materials can be grouped on the basis of luster and dullness possessed by them. Lustrous materials are shiny, while non-lustrous materials are dull. For example, lustrous materials are like gold, silver, etc. 2. Hard or softness Soft materials can easily be compressed or scratched. For example, cotton. Those materials are not easy to compress or hard materials like iron. 3. Transparency. A. Transparent materials, those materials through which light can be passed completely. It is easy to see through them like glass. B. Opaque materials, those materials through which light cannot be passed completely. You cannot see through them like wood, cardboard, C. Translucent materials, those materials through which light can be passed partially. It is partially opaque and transparent like frosted glass. 4. State objects are made of matter and matter exists in three states. A. Solid state All solid substances have solid states. Solids have a definite shape and volume. Such materials cannot be compressed. Particles in solid are closely packed and it cannot flow. B. Liquid state All liquid substances have liquid states. Liquids do not have a definite shape, but it can take the shape of the container. It has a definite volume. Such materials can be compressed to some extent. C. Gaseous state All gaseous substance has a gaseous state. Such a substance does not have a definite shape and volume. They are highly compressible and particles in it are closely packed. Float or sink material, heat conduction. Do you understand class? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Copy the tasks, complete them and submit before the next lesson. Yes, sir. End of lesson task. Please write. Question. List five materials and state their properties. Thank you for your participation. See you again in our next class.